Hi guys, so I promised this video to quite a lot of you guys and um, I thought I'd just give it a crack and try filming it. So basically, as you can see by the title, it is my blow drying routine. Now, I have got a short back and sides now, but it has grown a lot. I had a number four um, shaved and I put a blog post up on it um, when I first had it done so you can see like how I style it in. How, I, how it was styled and stuff so I link that all in the down bar and stuff if you want to see it um, but I do want to go shorter than a 4 next time so you will see that soon hopefully basically my hair's a bit of turby towel I've washed it with um, with uh, silver shampoo because I have blonde hair and then put a hair mask on it for damage takes my hair is really damaged and then I conditioned it with just average conditioner so um, I'm just going to take it out to the turby towel and as you can see, like, I have really big roots, but I don't really mind because I quite like that. So, it just looks all limp and disgusting. And you can kind of see it shaved now on the sides. We'll see it a bit more later. So, basically, it looks like this right now, and it looks like crap. So, I'm going to take my, um, this is just my heat protectant, and it's the Hot Streak Cream from L'Oreal Paris. And it's a Studio Silk and Gloss Cream. You can get it from Boots. But it just looks like that. And it's the pink uh, container. So I'm just going to shake it up a bit and put about that much on my hand. Like that. So about 10 pence piece size. And just rub it on my hands and run that through the top of my hair. Because that's obviously where I use the heat. Because I curl it or I straighten it and put it in a quiff. Or I curl it and put it in a quiff. Or I'll um, use volumizing powder on it and then curl it. So it always gets some sort of heat even through blow drying. Um, so I'm just going to run that through my my hair getting right at the ends and after I've blow dried it I do like to put a bit more of that on when it's dry because I just think it looks like shinier and healthier if I do that so now I've done that my hair looks something like this so I'm just going to run my hands through it pulling all the longer bits forward like that just be a bit rough with it so you can kind of see the shape of what it normally looks like getting like now. So you want all the blonde bits on top, which are, the, which are my longer bits of my hair. I'm just going to pull all that forward so it looks like that. And now I'm going to take this Nova Mousse. It's really crap and it's from Lidl's. And it's got like styling mousse, pro vitamin B and stuff in it. And it's just to add a little bit more texture because we're short here. You don't get much volume, so it's just adding more volume and more texture. So I'm going to shake it up, and you can hear it filling up. And this is, I'm trying to finish it really, so, yeah, you can hear it. It's not, there you go, it's a bit better, isn't it? And I'm just going to, because I put that through the layers of my hair, and then I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through it, like that, just to give it a bit more texture, a bit more life, really, because it's normally really limp it's short here after all and I'm just going to scrunch it in making sure it all gets in now once that's done now it's really ready to get blow dried and I'm going to blow dry it with this blow dryer and it's my normal one it's like a Licky Clark one professional drying performance and it's got this cool button but I'm not going to use the cool button yet I'm just going to roughly blow dry it over really quick and then I'll come back when it's kind of dry and then I'll show you what I do with the cool button then so see you in two minutes Okay, so I'm back and it is basically dry on top and I have, when I blow dry the sides, like you can see they shaved now, you can see like all the brown part is shaved. But yeah, with them, when I'm blow drying, I just flatten them down with my hands just because the length of it, like, is a little bit too long for my leg and it does tend to stick up. So, I don't know if you can see, but it just looks like that one is kind of dry. Um, some, like the roots of it is kind of dry and then the tips are starting to get just damp really. So, just so I don't frazzle my hair to be honest, I'm just going to blast it over with the cool button. I'm going to turn it on, press this cool button here and just give a blast of cold air. I find it gives a little bit more volume as well and I'm going to scrunch it. you see how I do it now, okay? If 
way my hair down, it will always be flipped over this side. But what I find, um, and also my hairdresser does this as well, is if you blow dry on the cool setting, blow dry on the opposite side as well, it gives a bit more volume. Now I've done that, and it's basically dry. Some bits of it are a little bit damp, but they're just the shaved parts. So they're going to dry on their own anyway, because they're extremely short. So it kind of looks like this when it's down. I don't, I hate it like this, and everybody tells me to wear it to school like it. And there's no way in hell I'm being seen like this, because I really hate it. So I'm just going to kind of scrunch it just a little bit. Like that, and that's what it looks like. And you can see the shaved parts now like that i'll give you like a 360 spin when i'm finished and now i'm going to take more of this um hot straight cream um i like this one because it doesn't really make my hair limp but i'm only taking a little bit of this over this time like about a five pence piece size this time can you see like that and now i'm going to rub it all on my hands like i did before i just scrunch it this time it's so it's just going on the tips and that's what i want i just want it to go on the tips so when i'm um styling it whether i decide to curl it in the morning or straighten it in the morning or do whatever it's gonna protect it and at least give it some sort of texture and shine so i, I do like it and there's a little bit left on the nozzle so i'm just gonna put that in my hair as well now what we don't want is scr is scrunchy or crisp short hair because you can tell when it's short you can tell if it's all crispy so you don't want that so you just want it to look natural and just really choppy and volumized and yay but I do use my roller brush sometimes but in the morning I'm just going to use um, my uh, rework extreme style putty anyway so I don't really need to give it any volume by um, brushing it or whatever or using like a rat tail comb to do like back combing so I'll just do all that in the morning anyway but if I was to if I was going to curl it and stuff in the morning I would kind of use my brush and kind of drag it and pull it up while blow drying so it gives it a little bit more volume for when I'm curling it so basically guys that's my hair drying hair blowing routine I'll just give you a little like show you the back of it I mean it's normally needed at the back obviously but it's like that on the side so you can see like the blonde shorter bits but obviously when it grows i'll be cut out but like that and then this side is like that um i like this side better because normally my hair is flipped over this side anyway like that um so yeah guys i will be doing more videos on how i style and stuff i just gotta work out how i'm gonna film them film them because they're really long because it normally takes me about 15 minutes and that takes way too long to upload so i'll yeah guys i'll see you soon hope you enjoyed and hope you got inspired blog and links will be in the down bar see you bye